but then <laughs> I've been up for like a little over an hour already, but I don't even get out of bed. I planned my day. Where's my iPad? I planned my day. I'm ready to get up. I replied to a bunch of DMs. Oh, I just want to lay here all day. <gasps> I'm gonna well wait here and oh. oh is there anything else I can do before getting out of bed? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get out. Let's turn on the lights. So when I woke up, I spent some time replying to DMs because I didn't do it last night when I posted the vlog because I was so tired. And so many sweet messages. I love you guys so much from this one girl. She basically DM'd me saying how like she's been watching me for a while and like she kind of feels like my vlogs now are like boring and I just do the same thing and besides working out, like I don't really do any activities and like um, she was just like, yeah, girls like you're living in quarantine, like this ain't it. With the heart. And I was like, <laughs> it's just think it's funny because, like, if you really think that I'm going to change my life so that a vlog is more entertaining, like, touch some grass because, like, I mean, I'm sure there's YouTubers out there that change their life for a vlog. I just vlog my life. There's a difference between filming something for a vlog or just vlogging your life. I just vlog my life. Like, I just vlog whatever the fuck I do. And it's not like, like, I know a lot of you guys enjoy it, so, like, I'm gonna keep doing it. And if you don't find it entertaining enough, just don't watch. Like, if you really think that I'm just gonna change my life because you don't find me entertaining enough, like, that makes no sense. Like, no, I'm gonna just live my life. And, like, if you find it entertaining, you can watch. If you don't, then don't. Like, okay, I live, I live like, I'm recording. Who the fuck is? <laughs> like, good. I like being home. Like... <laughs> I don't know why it's still such a surprise to people like and it doesn't make me upset like I can just laugh at it because some people just need to touch some grass because who do you think you are like asking or like basically implying to someone that their life is now boring like to you okay <laughs> I'm just living my life like I don't know what you want me to do I don't even know who you are and you want me to do something to be more entertaining for you like what and the way it was said it was such a backhanded comment like girl I love your content but you're fucking boring this ain't it. <laughs> this week, I'm going to pick my shit back up because I've been so hormonal last week. I haven't even edited that vlog yet, and I don't know if it's going to be good. You know, every week's going to be different. That's fucking life, y'all. You know, some weeks I might be out and, like, suddenly I'm social and I go hang out with a bunch of people and then I won't see anyone for three weeks straight because that's fucking me. <laughs> Let's wake up, Blue. Yeah, if you think my life is boring, babe... Go live your own. I mean, why are you watching me? <laughs> Sorry. I'm being so petty this morning. Wait, I need to turn on the lights. Oh, Lizzie. So I accidentally scheduled a driver's lesson as well as my window cleaning at the same time. So my mom's actually going to come over here before they get here to clean my window so I can go to my driver's lesson. Um, but I need to finish some cleaning this morning and I need to clean my balcony because there's some, there's some shit. I need to clean some shit off the tiles from blue before that man gets here because that's just going to be so traumatizing. Well, it's not that bad, but like, I just think it... You know, I just need to get rid of that before he gets here to clean the windows. Um, yeah, I'm just going to finish some cleaning anyways this morning. Because I last night ended up being a late night. I'm um, trying to finish the vlog. I think I'm going to record my first podcast episode today. Not 100% sure. 
but I think I might. That's exciting. We'll see after my driver's lesson how I feel because I usually, I don't know about you guys, but my driver's lessons, they just kill me. Like they drain everything out of me because I have to be so focused for like an hour and a half. After that, like my brain just feels like it's dead. Like, But we're so close to my final exam, y'all. So close. Few weeks. you guys i'm just gonna make my breakfast and just have my morning to myself but i wanted to start off the vlog so i can get into the vibe of vlogging this week because i've been isolating a little bit last week but you know it's okay to do it for a little bit but now we have to get back out so just wanted to start off the vlog on a good note on a funny note I just took such a nice shower and I'm on my period so showers feel even more amazing like I feel so disgusting when I'm on my period sometimes I was like I wish you could just turn that off like why are we obligated to deal with this fucking period y'all like no thanks and my flow can be so heavy like right now like my flow is really heavy and sometimes I'm like how am I alive right now like how am I losing so much blood and I'm not dead because what the fuck like it's just like it does not stop anyways <laughs> Luckily, most of y'all are women, so you will understand me, but, oh, like, so over it. The sun is out, so I'm happy. After I finish my journal entry for today, I'm going to go on a nice calming walk with the flu, out in the sun. I'm excited to do that, even though it is quite windy. I don't think it's as bad. Like, it's calmed down a little bit now. If there's one thing I'm going to do, it's pop, like, pimples and blackheads. Like, I'm so sorry. I can't not do it, like, it's not coming out. I just popped this one earlier. It was really painful. <laughs> you know, it's so painful, and it, like, your eyes start to water, but it's just so satisfying when it pops, like, I love that. <laughs> one of the downsides about my job is that sometimes brand can be, like, super late with payments. So I'm, like, waiting for my payments right now, and I'm, like, rent is due, y'all. Where's my money at? But I just got a text that one of the payments finally been made, even though it was due for over a month. Usually, like, I would be, like, so stressed out today, and I would literally just be on the verge of breaking down because whenever I don't have control over something like that, like, it's just too much for me. But I'm making progress because I'm just working on that money mindset, like I was saying. Every time something is out of my control, like, I just really try to focus on letting it go if I can't do anything about it. Like, obviously, if it's, like, something really urgent, I will try to find a solution. But if there's nothing else I can do, let it go. Like, what the fuck else are you going to do? And, like, it's so normal for me to then get into that mindset of being upset about it and constantly thinking about it. But that just makes everything worse because, like, if that's all I'm going to be thinking about, that's not going to fix the situation. Like, it's not instantly just going to be fixed. As well as, I'm just going to be more in a negative mindset. And I think... Even though it's so cliche, like keeping the positive mindset really does work. So I feel like I'm making some progress in that, which is nice. And um, someone actually reposted that part of my vlog on her story and she talked about her own money anxiety. And it was nice to know that I'm not alone in that. And I know I'm not, but it's always nice to like, hear it from someone else as well. Um, and like I kind of got inspired to work on it from seeing... Tariq Ali, I think that's his name. He did a podcast episode um, and like talked about his own like money anxiety and like my, just his own like financial situation and things that he's been through. I think because in today's society, everyone's so like about making money, grinding. If you're broke, you're fucking lame. And it's like, that's just not what life's about. Like obviously you need money to be able to do a lot of things, but I think it doesn't like change the value of a person you know what i mean like and that's like how i used to always feel is like oh if i don't have money like i'm not valuable like those are all things that come along with that money mindset for me i hate my contact is inside out oh my god and why is this my contact does not feel right can this be oh. yeah no 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 oh my god i just need to get lasik at this point <laughs> if anyone has gone lasik surgery i think i've asked this before once but if you've gone lasik eye surgery 
Let me know your experience. Luca's gotten it done and he's really happy with it. I'd love to ditch my glasses and my contacts, like all of it. Okay, one more time. Okay, it's better now. Yeah, okay. We're good. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just gonna do my skincare. I'm gonna find myself a podcast episode to listen to because I haven't listened to one in a few days. Okay, um, one of the podcasts I've been listening to recently is to all the people podcast with janelle roberts i just love her Ooh. i love her voice i think she's very insightful and um yeah i don't know i feel like she just has really good things to say and i would love to listen to more podcasts by black women just like anything really like about life and entrepreneurship stuff like that if you have any recommendations let me know this could also be youtubers but i kind of am really into like podcasts right now because i love listening to stuff when i'm like on the go or if i'm just like doing things so i don't know i'm gonna listen to her new episode right now hi guys welcome back to the to all the people podcast This week I'm gonna work on my actually needs to put this in, on my planner that I'm gonna work on my journal inserts. I'm still figuring out what I want to order for my for this thing. I need to get I, I said this in the last vlog as well. I need to get like a paper cutter, hole punch, all of that. So I'm gonna look at that tonight because then I don't have to like look up a journal prompt and I can just right away like fill out whatever I made on the printable and i'm gonna get a black ink pen because i mean this pen is not aesthetic it just writes really nicely but i want a black ink pen so i'm gonna order those as well because it just looks a bit more aesthetic <laughs> i'm really trying to not wear a sweatsh sweatsh <laughs> i've been trying to not wear sweats like that much anymore just so that i actually can feel a bit more put together but today was a sweats kind of day so let's see i'm gonna look up a new journal prompt Okay, good one. Let's write down the date. If you want to journal with me, you can. If not, you don't have to. You can also just answer these in your head or just think about it and do whatever you want. No pressure. Let's see. 30.01. It's almost February. Like, I can't believe we've already been through one month of the new year. Like, how fast have these weeks gone by? First one. What do I think about my daily habits? Okay, so for this one, I wrote down that I can I can definitely be a bit more disciplined. Like, I could work on it, but I feel like in general, like, I've done a great job at trying to follow my routine and the healthy habits that I'm trying to incorporate in my life. 
I mean, looking at my tracker every week, I still definitely don't take off all the boxes, which just means that I still have work to do. But there's progress. And I think, you know, that's the most important thing. Like, you can't expect yourself to change your life in like a week, you know? And like, obviously, I started these vlogs this year because I want to kind of take you along my journey this year. And I'm only like, we're just in the first month. Like, we're just starting out and especially January for me was really kind of like a trial and error type of period where I just wanted to try out things, see what works, what doesn't, and then take that to the next month. And you're always going to improve that way. Like you can't expect yourself to get it right away. As long as you're improving and you're working on it, that's the best you can do. So yeah, let's see. What do I need more of in my life and why? That's a good one. Okay, so I kept this quite short, but I wrote down for me social interactions with friends and family um, because I'm just not a huge, I'm just not a very social person and that's just who I am, but I do think everyone needs social interactions and it usually serves me really well as long as it's not too much. Like if it's too much, like it just drains me, like people can be really draining for me personally, but the right amount and the right people always do me really well. So, and then I said a close female friend um, because I used to have a girl best friend. We were best friends for like six years. And then obviously that friendship ended. And I definitely noticed like, I noticed like that part missing, not necessarily the person, but just like having that female friend to connect with. Um, Obviously, I have my best friend, Luca, and he's my soulmate, but it's still different than having, like, a girlfriend, you know what I mean? Like, a girl that you, like, you can just relate on a different level, and I definitely miss that in my life, but it's also not something that I'm gonna, like, seek out to, like, find, or, because I just feel like that person just has to come into my life, and I have female friends, don't get me wrong, but I'm talking, like, for real, like, that, that person that you just feel like is also like your soulmate, your best friend, you just feel like everything is just, it just works, you know what I mean? And I feel like I don't have that in my life right now, which is okay, but I do hope that I will find her again. And I will, because I really thrive off of really good friendships anyway, like close friendships. I've always been the kind to like not have many friends, but the friends that I do have, I'm always really close with. And yeah, like I just really cherish that. So I would love that. And then also bonding with my brother because we haven't seen each other much at all in the past year, probably. Like we've both been so busy with our own stuff and um, I definitely wanna spend more time with him again and continue bonding because we have such a special relationship. Let me write down my intentions for today. Oh, it's so loud. A focus driver's lesson. Let me look up an affirmation. In the meantime, I'm just seeing really cute fashion pics on Pinterest and I want to save them. <laughs> I'm looking for affirmations, not fucking aesthetic photos, y'all. <laughs> Hold on, let me save these. I don't want to lose them. That's such a cute outfit. You don't grow when you're comfortable. I like that one. Believe in yourself and you will be unstoppable. Be the woman you would look up to. I like that one. Let me take that off my morning routine and off my tracker and then I'm gonna go out on a walk. Oh my god, you guys, I just had the cutest encounter. So I was out on a walk with Blue. I didn't film it because it was super hectic um, and I was trying to keep him in control. But we came across another Frenchie and it was also a big one. Like they literally, like she asked me his weight and they're like the exact same weight. It was a really big one and they were so crazy, like running around and playing. But it was so fun. And then I ended up just standing there and talking to the girl who was the owner of the dog and um, kind of nice because I'd literally just written down that I wanted more social interactions and then I just run into someone and we have a full blown conversation and like super fun. So hopefully we'll see her again with what was his name? Bruna? Bruno? Bruna? Something like that. But that was so cute. And they got to play, which was nice for him. He doesn't get to play with Frenchies very often because usually if we see a Frenchie, they're like so much smaller than him. And like they'll play, but like he's just too strong for most of the Frenchies that we come across. So this was like such a good, um, such a good duo. Like it was really cute. And that like made my morning. So anyways, I am going to leave for my driver's lesson. 
in like 35 minutes so i'm just gonna spend some time um filling out my january reflection and just kind of relaxing before i leave and yeah, i'll just see you guys later today i'm about to start editing um i put my hello i put my wallpaper on my iMac as well i kind of switched it around i just made this one in good notes this time because i wanted to do let me actually unlock hold up i don't want to show my password <laughs> um i wanted to be able to like cut out the little things like super easily so i did it in good notes let me know if you guys want to see a tutorial on that um i mean it shouldn't be that hard you can do this in literally any way you want like you can use a collage website or app and just add photos in there and it does it for you or you can put like manually <laughs> put it put the photos on there yourself using like an app like procreate or good notes you can even do it in like keynote or powerpoint and then the way that i cut these out is just by using my um apple pen and just tracing it so that does make it easier if you do have an ipad and an apple pen that makes it easier you can probably do it in other ways as well but this is just how i did it and it was actually my favorite way to do it like i think this is more fun than using photoshop so i think i'm just gonna do it this way i don't really care about it perfectly fitting my imac because i didn't want to just overcrowd it with more photos so i decided to just kind of do it like this and i just have like that on the side and i kind of like it and i decided to not do black because i feel like when it's white it just kind of catches my attention better than if i have the black background even though the black is like more aesthetic to me i feel like this just catches my attention more so this is my vision board for february which right now it is the 30th as you can see here it is on my ipad i'm waiting for this to Kind of defrost a little i put this in the <laughs> freezer last night because i didn't eat it um if you watch the end of my last vlog that's the same mcflurry <laughs> so um anyways yeah i'm just lighting a nice candle i was like instead of like showing my face let me just kind of show you my surroundings because i always like to make it like super cozy so this is my setting right now i'm just going to edit my shoe collection and call it a night got to pick out some gifting from joa brown blue is just sniff testing <laughs> but so excited about these thank you to joa brown for gifting me some of their pieces i love their stuff and i still have pieces that i picked out like well over a year ago probably two years that i still wear is it good <laughs> i mean i think she likes it <laughs> definitely gonna wear one of these today it, everything is just so soft and uh, i love their quality sorry and their aesthetic is just so me i might wear this set today i think it'll be really nice and i wanted like a long sleeve basic white top that wasn't like um because i'm wearing one right now from jerv jerv avenue and it's a bit of a thicker like ribbed fabric but i wanted something more stretchy and like fitting so i think this is gonna be perfect <laughs> Ew, blue. <laughs> I had such bad cramps this morning that I literally felt nauseous the whole time. So I ended up just sitting on the couch and I did a bunch of things on my iPad. I designed some stuff. Like I utilized my time, but I did not go to the gym and I still haven't gotten ready for the day. I'm going to shoot content today though. So now I'm kind of just prepping myself to get ready to do that. Um, I'm gonna film a get ready with me with like outfit and everything. So I just laid out my stuff with some of the gifting from Joa Brown that I got because I just want to wear it right away. And then I tidied up 
my little makeup corner so that I can film right here and have a nice background. Even though it's not fully organized yet and I still have to go through this. <laughs> um, I just kind of set this up so I need to clean this mirror. It's so dirty. But I set this up so that I can film here. Oh, this noise is so annoying. I just realized that that's probably gonna be oh that's gonna be annoying when i film and i don't know what time they stop like it's because they're doing construction there's two different construction sites around my apartment so it's awful but anyways i was designing some stuff for my journal and i just have so many ideas like i'm excited for this and like you guys have no idea like something really fun is coming like i cannot wait to share everything but for now it's gonna be a secret i wanted to book a class like a pilates class for saturday but everything's waitlisted and i hate when i'm like waitlisted and then i think i'm not gonna get in and then last minute they still put me in and then i've like already changed my plan so i think i'm just gonna book a class for next week because i haven't been to pilates in a while um sorry i'm walking around while i'm talking to you Y'all, I'm really struggling today. Uh, usually I don't film this like when I feel this way, but I'm trying to be like real with y'all. <laughs> and you know, I can't be perfect every single day. Like today is just one of those days where it's definitely because I'm on my period still. Like I know it's because of that, but it's like day, I think day three or four. And like, I'm like, hello, can I feel good again? Like I'm just waiting, but i managed to like drag myself into the shower and now i just feel like i drained all my energy just from taking that shower so i'm like okay like am i gonna like force myself and try to get through like making content today or do i just need to like listen to my body and like give myself that like day of rest today because <sighs> like if i don't rest today i'm still gonna like feel the same tomorrow as in like if I don't give my body the time to recharge, like, it's not going to just recharge itself. So I'm thinking maybe I need to just, like, skip out on making content today. I'm just a bit frustrated, I guess, with myself because I just have, like, expectations for myself. And when I don't meet them, like, that always really bothers me. But also, I'm just a human and, like, I can't expect myself to be, like, perfect and the best, like, every single day. So I think I'm just going to put something comfortable on and sit down with my ipad just to see like what day i can move my stuff to for this week um i have another content day planned for thursday so i'm just, I, I would be able to do the same thing i wanted to do today that day um and then maybe instead of having my day off on like saturday maybe i'll just switch that around with today i don't know i'm just gonna have a look at my schedule for this week and see what i can do I guess that is the luxury of my job, the fact that I can do this if it's necessary, but I don't actually like doing it because it makes me feel like a failure, <laughs> just being real. But I know I'm not. It's just like, I don't know, like you expect something from yourself and then when you don't meet those expectations, like, I don't know, I'm like my worst critic, so instantly that just like bothers me. But um, I also don't want to continue the bad habit of pushing myself past my limit and like not listening to my body and like not allowing myself to also have those like recharge days like I always just want to be go 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 so maybe I just need to deal with that today maybe I just need to accept the fact that I'm very much on my period and I'm bleeding and my body hurts like this morning like I said I literally had so much pain I was so nauseous in the morning just because I was in so much pain. And like, why do I expect myself to have a full ass productive day of work while like going through this? Like, I can't expect that for myself. So if you needed to hear that, there you go. Maybe, maybe you're doing the same thing as me. I think a lot of women do because menstruating is just so normalized. Like <laughs> that people, I guess, forget. And even I, like I forget how much like how much how big of a toll it can take on your body there's so much happening inside your body like it's not weird if you're tired and like having a hard time concentrating like i literally ju just am not able to do anything and the f the thought of like sitting down and having to sit in front of the camera and like explain how i'm doing my makeup and my hair like it's just not i'm just not feeling it today so that's that's just i guess what today is yeah i'm just gonna 
pick out. I think I'm gonna leave that outfit that I styled. I'm gonna leave this for the day that I'm gonna film that video because I really like the outfit. I don't wanna I don't want it to go to waste. <laughs> so I'm not gonna wear it today. I'm just gonna wear, I think I'll wear the other Joel Brown stuff I got. I always like to wear it and then wear it once and I throw it in a wash because it's obviously not washed. I'm gonna wear these leggings even though I'm not wearing a thong. I'm just home anyway, so. The skims top and then I'm gonna put the Joel Brown like zip up on top of it. That's a cute little color combo. Here we have the finished outfit. <laughs> I'm wearing my Ugg slippers and yeah, very cute, even though know, I'm just staying home, this is a cute little at-home outfit. Um, yeah, I'm just going to sit down and have a look at my planner, like I said, and I think I might just like play some Sims or something, like I just want to do something relaxing, lay down on the couch. Um, I think I might also make a heating pad because my stomach just... I'm cramping so bad. I'm surprised because it's the fourth, I think it's the fourth day of my cycle and usually like it gets better now. But for some reason my cramps started kind of late. So yeah, I hear blue. What is he up to? He sounds upset. <laughs> Hi. Hi baby. What? Hi. Hi. Let me check. Hi. Hi. You got eye boogers. You're smelling the drink. Uh huh. Oh, 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 oh. This is what I deal with, you guys. He just wants to attack me. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey! He ate, ate my hair. God, <laughs> the way getting out of bed gets harder every fucking day. <laughs> oh my God. Someone sent me this YouTube video that someone edited of my, uh, it was Weekly Diary 3, I think. <laughs> and they made this like edit of it and it was so fucking funny. Um, so that like made my morning and I was like, why am I so funny? Like I never edit my videos in a way that helps with like comedic timing and stuff or like zoom ins and stuff like that unless it's something really funny but that just takes too much time for me but i was watching and i was like damn kind of fucking funny not to eat my own ass but <laughs> i'm gonna make today a good day i'm gonna make today a good day i'm gonna make today a good day maybe if i say it enough it's gonna work <laughs> fuck <laughs> i need to fucking get back to me because I've been letting my hormones take the, like control me too much and like I've just been feeling like shit and like trying so hard not to feel like shit that it was making me feel more like shit and today I woke up and I was like bitch what the fuck are you doing like get yourself together um I've had enough days to like fucking drown in my feelings and my hormones and feel bad for myself and today we're gonna get back to business because 
this is how you slip back into like old habits like because like yesterday the way i was smoking with my mom's and i was like why the fuck do i feel like i'm back at square one i know i'm not but it's like okay like this shit clearly still has a hold on me because why am i like looking forward to smoking every single day and i'm like i can't wait to get my work done to smoke i need to fucking change that mindset but it's so hard like i just love it too much but then after smoking i'm like damn i feel like a fucking crackhead like i don't know i get back into that like feeling of being a stoner and i just don't want to be a stoner anymore but i love being high <laughs> and i just i just love the taste and the the feeling that weed gives me like don't demonetize me youtube please i'm just being real and like a lot of you guys tell me that you go through the same thing which makes me feel so much better because sometimes i'm like damn like am i fucking the only one like weed has a grip on me like a chokehold for real my legs are ashy i need to take care of myself why are they starting this fucking early it's fucking 8 a.m you guys like what the fuck is this oh they stopped are they really starting this early like damn so um because i haven't worked out in a while and i've been struggling to go to the gym i decided well okay this is where my inspiration came from i'm just gonna talk so that i can feel alive you guys like uh i think you guys like anyway when i talk a lot yesterday i was listening to this podcast and she was talking about how she would go and work out and like she, it would just kind of be too much in her like it would almost kind of make her like drain her in a way and like i've kind of been feeling like that so she was talking about like low impact workouts and stuff and then i was like okay i mean i can do that like i feel like maybe that's just what i need right now so i'm just gonna do like a 12 3 30 type of workout on the treadmill and then maybe if i still feel like it <clears throat> and i have like the energy and like the strength i'm gonna do like three to four like weight machines like lower body weight machines give that a try and see how it works how i feel because a lot of times this is a pretty sunlight let me film it <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> a lot of times when i've worked out and i've done like heavy weight lifting whatever i'm just so exhausted after like i think i've said that before where i'll be like home and i've had a nice workout but then i'm just so drained and tired and it's like what's the point Such a pretty sunrise. <laughs> I feel like myself again today. I think today is going to be the day that I get to go back to what I was doing. Let's get the iPad out. I love my wallpaper. It's been really inspiring me. Oh, I need to buy coffee. Did I not write that down? I'm gonna have to probably get some more groceries today. Um, what's on the schedule today? First, I'm having my little morning routine. I'm gonna hop into the gym. Sorry, I just love pretty skies. Like, I'm just a bitch for that. Because right now, why is it like a pastel, like, peach? And I'm like, like a pastel peach with, like, light blue. Like, oh. And this is why I love summer, because there's always pretty skies. Uh, okay, sorry. I keep getting distracted. Why are they doing this? Like, she, like, just makes me want to fucking move. Like, shut the fuck up. It's literally, it's 8 a.m. Like, fuck off. Why are you drilling right now? Go do something else. Like, <laughs> I'm making a vanilla hazelnut oat latte, like every day. Me go to. 
my favorite, you guys. Okay, so let's just talk over this fucking loud as drilling outside. Um, today is a day of editing. I am gonna post my shoe collection today. Um, I've almost finished editing that. I'm just gonna finish up the last little bits and then make the thumbnail and stuff. Um, and my weekly diary that I'm posting this Sunday has a sponsor, so I'm I really need to like finish it before the weekend. So I'm gonna edit that today and try to just edit as much as possible. Like my whole afternoon is basically just gonna be editing. So I mean the shoe video is probably gonna be done in like an hour max two. I'm basically just gonna spend as much time as possible like cutting down that video, uh, like the vlog, so that I can send it over to the sponsor beforehand. So that's like my work for today. I have a few things on my to-do list and then yeah, just gonna have a nice gym session this morning. Gym session. Gonna have a nice gym session this morning. Do some self-care. If I'm not too slow this morning, I'll get that done before um, I get to work. <laughs>
nice and refreshed. Um, I'm just going to do some journaling. Um, and I wanted to just let you guys know which journal prompts I'm doing today. I'm not going to go super in-depth right now because I am kind of a little behind on schedule. <laughs> I've been taking my sweet old time. But um, I really needed to do some of that self-care because it was overdue. all over myself yesterday i was designing my journal and i decided that the journal i'm going to design is going to be the journal that i'm going to sell so stay tuned for that i only like designed a little bit of the cover i'm not going to show you but it's really cute and i think you guys are going to love it but since i want to do like a 365 day type of journal it's going to take me a little while to make it um but yeah, I don't know. I'm really excited about that. I feel like it's going to be really fun. And it's just going to fit so well with the podcast. Like, super excited to record my first episode this week. I never really knew what shadow work was. But apparently that's also, like, I guess a part of journaling. Like, some it says here, shadow work is working with your unconscious mind to uncover the parts of yourself that you repress and hide from yourself. This can include trauma or parts of your personality that you subconsciously consider undesirable. I think that's really interesting and definitely something that I'm going to look into. It's what made you start doubting yourself as a kid? What aspects of your life do you project onto others in a very unhealthy way? Who hurt me the most and can I forgive them? Stuff like that. I think that's really, really interesting and something I definitely want to get into, just not right now. But let me know if you do shadow work, how that's been working for you. And yeah, I'm just going to start off with writing down what I am grateful for three things so if you want to journal with me go ahead i am grateful one of the things i wrote down was i'm grateful for being able to provide for my mom and i while living the life that i've always dreamed of inspiring thousands of people without realizing it and I'm grateful for my blue, my baby. He's so good. He's so loving and so well behaved. Like, I'm just so grateful to have him in my life. He literally lights up my world. Traits I love about myself. I like that. Traits I love about myself. Let's write down, because I really need to get to editing. It's getting late. I'm going to write down two affirmations for today. My worth is not defined by another person. I'm going to do three, actually. I create a life I love. I don't allow negativity into my life and heart. I forgot to write down the date, but it's February 1st. I'm now going to get to editing. <clears throat> and basically, I'm going to edit all day until Luca gets here. I'm really working on drinking two liters of water, which means two of these a day. I've not even been able to finish one, so it's been... It's hard. The way I'm literally freezing sitting here. Let me take my hair down. It's almost six and I just finished working. I didn't finish editing the vlog. Um, I first spent another like, I think it was like two hours exporting footage and then my hard drive was already full. I have a one terabyte hard drive, but every vlog has like 100 to like 200 gigabytes of footage so that filled up super fast so i had to move stuff from this hard drive to another one which took another like 30 to 40 minutes because it was like one terabyte <laughs> and so i literally only edited a tiny bit um so i guess i'm gonna have to maybe i'll edit like early in the morning or something tomorrow try to get some hours in but i had some of my amazon stuff come in that i ordered for my planner slash journal so i wanted to unbox it for you let me go get it i don't think this is everything just yet but it's a start first thing i mean it's not that exciting it's a corner punch because i want to be able to i think i don't know i think it'll look nice when i'm making dashboards and stuff like that you'll see when i start using this i think it's going to be nice to like round off the corners okay this is my whole bunch that i got which has the sizing on there i think you can see it it has the sizing and it has a personal size which is exactly what i need 
I'm not gonna work on this today, but I'm just excited that I have it. I got this laminator. It was quite cheap, actually. I think it was like 25 bucks. I just wanted to get a cheap one because I don't see myself using this that much, but I want to give it a try for like dashboards and stuff so that it's like nice and sturdy. Very good. Ah! I thought I found more than this. All right. <laughs> well, that was a boring haul. The last thing I got was printer paper, but I got one that's like thicker. This one is 200 um grams <laughs> bitch i don't know 200 something the one that i usually have is oh it's called grammage the one that i usually have is like 80 it's thicker anyways i wanted something a bit thicker um one thing i still need to get is ink for my printer because i'm pretty sure i'm almost out so before i print everything out because i want to do it in color i'll have to get that but i wanted to get some thicker paper because that way, when you, like, write on it, it's going to stay nice, and yeah. Anyways, I'm waiting for Luca to get here, and we're going to actually go to my mom's later because he wanted to go see my mom. Ooh, and there's a new podcast episode from the Online Sisterhood. Um, it's a Dutch podcast, but one of my faves. Is he going to focus? Anyways. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> ew, ew, the stick is in my face. The way he doesn't even care, but <laughs> it's it. so it stabilizes. I feel like an actual cameraman. Ah, 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 attack! <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you call me the F word? You call me the F word? Oh, watch out! Oh, this is good. Let's get him tired. I can see that Oma. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was gonna do that. The way he stopped everything, like he said, "What?" And we're gonna open Daisy. Gezellig met Oom Luca. Is it Oom Luca? He's right there, babe. Yeah, what? It's Oom Luca. Yeah, let's go. It's a new day and I started my morning filming a get ready with me. I think it's going to be up before this video. If not, stay tuned. But I got such an exciting package just now and I have to share it with you. <gasps> oh my god! Literally so excited. Let me show you, bitch. I got, I hope this is somewhat stabilized. 
but I got the mood perfumes. Let me open this. So excited to share my new fragrance fragrance oh mod it's mod not mood why did i say mood sorry <laughs> so excited to share my new fragrance collection mod absolutely adore these mod sisters vanilla and blush hope you enjoy as much as i do ari cute okay so if you watched a view vlogs back i got all the minis of her perfume this is vanilla I love I think vanilla is my favorite wow. the bottles are so pretty that's so nice yeah let me put this on I don't have any perfume on yet oh that's so nice smells so good this is blush oh, this is so pretty I smell this one. maybe i'm gonna mix the two. Oh, this one's also actually i love this one too i'm just gonna mix them they smell good together love it thank you ari and pr team but in a vlog i was talking about how i got an email from fedex and they were like got this package from you and you get to know like i think it was like the worth of the purchase like whatever but i still ended up getting it thankfully yippee, yippee, yippee. Ah! <laughs> oh Anyways, I filmed a get ready with me this morning, which I'm very happy and satisfied with. Um, I have a driver's session today. This week is the last week that I have two driver's sessions. And then I have, I think I have two weeks where I have just one. And then I have like two lessons that like, how do I say this? So I'll have my exam on a Wednesday and then I'm going to drive Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then have my exam. So it's been taking up a lot of my time. And also, like, it's very draining mentally for me personally. Like, after a driver's session, I'm, like, so mentally exhausted. But we're, we're nearing the end, you guys. Like, I'm just so excited for that to be over. I'll have more time for other things, which is going to be fun. I'm just going to do my morning journal right now. Um, today, I'm going to journal by myself. But I will still encourage you to look up a journal prompt and write down whatever you want to write down. Talk about whatever you want to talk about in your journal and um yeah i'm just gonna journal by myself today because i'm just feeling like that i'm getting updates from blues brothers Aww. i'm gonna send a picture of blue this is one of his brothers what a cutie and this is one of them it's the same one that i just showed they're definitely smaller than him like he is huge i sent them this picture because <laughs> it shows how tall he is like he's so big <clears throat> that perfume smells so good like yeah 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 love it love it okay actually i'm gonna go out for dinner with a friend tonight look at me socializing what who is she yeah so i'll see you guys definitely before i go and um i'll some, film some of my dinner as well i think we're gonna get ramen at this place unless they're booked but i think they won't because it's a thursday night so i feel like they should they should have a spot for us but yeah i'm just meeting up with one of my friends um we met in fashion school we were actually in the same class and that's kind of how we became friends but we don't see each other very often so we're just gonna catch up i haven't seen her in a while and i'm also oh yeah i'm gonna try to stay sober today which will be a challenge Good job. I'm having a conversation with the viewers. <laughs> Don't be rude. Yeah, today is going to be a day where I'm going to try to stay sober. No, I'm not going to try. I am going to stay sober. I need to start changing the way that I say certain things because I feel like when I say I'm going to try to like that kind of is it leaves room for like I wouldn't call it fail failure, but like it leaves room for me to be like, well, I tried, but I'm still going to do it. You know what I mean? Like I actually really want to just not smoke. And I think going out for dinner is like a great way to kind of 
fill up that time that I usually would smoke and then I just go back home and then I go to sleep so that I don't have to do it like I finished my work for today and I'm just gonna feed Lou real quick and then get myself ready to go out for dinner my camera's crooked I think I'm gonna keep the same outfit on that I was wearing today I'm just gonna touch up my makeup because I think I'm a little bit shiny um and like redo my lips and everything my driver's lesson went so well, had a really good one, and then I just spent quite a few hours editing. And then I was actually playing The Sims for a little bit because I think I'm going to record a Let's Play this weekend. I've been working on a bunch of Sims things, but this time like I was like, this is going to be fun for like an actual Let's Play and like recording myself play the actual game. If any of you are also trying to quit or smoke less, let me know how your journey is going. And... Um, you have any tips for me they're always welcome or if you just want to i don't know tell me whatever you want girl oh my god that is actually so bright damn a little bit too much okay this is better let me just touch up a little bit so i'm gonna touch up what was that I'm just gonna touch up my makeup and <sighs> Should I make you yawn? I always make myself yawn when I edit my videos and I watch it back. Period. Oh, I'm low-key so tired, but it'll be fun. I'm trying to convince myself. No, it's actually gonna be fun. Like I always have so much fun when I'm with her, but I'm like just trying to get myself in the mood to go <laughs> let me touch up my bronzer on my nose so we're gonna go to this ramen place i've never been but i heard that it's good so i have an eye booger i saw it on tiktok i think that it was like a good place to go so it's like okay let's go there hopefully they have a table for us if not i think she will know another place to go i'm really bad at like picking restaurants picking where to eat what to eat like i'm so bad at that let me get my lip combo mac cork lip liner and this is fenty beauty fenty glow i don't want to put it on too much because i think it's windy outside and my hair is going to blow in my lips I'm going to reapply some perfume. Let's turn off this bright ass light. This is what I'm using, by the way. The brand is Newer, double E, N double E, W E R. A very good brand. I have two of those. One of them is in my studio, but that one is so great for like doing my makeup and just having good lighting. Okay, let's see. The way I'm actually obsessed with these perfume, like. I'm gonna spray both of them on. I like them together, honestly. And like my favorite, favorite perfume is this one. Actually, I'm out of it and I need to buy a new one. I just haven't done it yet. But that's like my comfort scent almost. Like when I wear that, I feel so warm inside. So if you wanna know what my signature scent is, it's that one. Scent, not scent. <laughs> What else do I need to do? Put on some hand cream. Where did I put my watch? Put my watch back on. I still have a little bit of time, but just wanna make sure that I'm ready to head out the door. I'm gonna put on my Uggs, a nice long coat, and I think he knows that I'm leaving. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry for the gum chewing. I always like, because mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it's just so fucking good. <laughs> I want to suck all the juice out. Let's see what bag am, am I bringing? I think I can just bring my small one that I was wearing today. It's just crooked. Because it's just dinner. 
passport and wallet. And my lip combo. My keys. Grandma's leaving the house. <laughs> Mm, not just in case and then I'll bring my hand cream this is my favorite the packaging is kind of ugly but this is literally my holy grail hand cream like nothing compares because I get such dry hands especially in the winter washing my lashes real quick oh, one of them fell off put on my gym outfit to get myself motivated but i had so much fun spending time with a friend last night definitely needed to just spend some time with a friend um and i think it should also be one of my goals this year to work on my friendship like the friendships that i have i mean i was talking to her about it and even she was like you know i don't really have many friends and i was like yes yeah, same like i just don't but not because I'm like a boner, but just, well, maybe I am. <laughs> but like, I genuinely like don't really need a lot of friends. Like I've never been the type of person that wants like a lot of friends, but I do want to try to just work on the friendships that I do have, especially the ones that are really good and that I feel like are worth like investing my time into. Definitely one of my goals this year as well. I got a few more Amazon packages in last night. Let me quickly show you. Okay, well, I'm gonna wash it first. I'm doing laundry today, so this is perfect. I got a new bonnet off of Amazon because all my bonnets have holes in them <laughs> and they're just so just like they're just done. I need to throw them out, but I got this one, which you can do like you can have it long, you can have it short. So I hope it's nice. I hope it kind of stays in my head. I got it in like a chocolate brown color, and then it has. You can like, oh, it's kind of stretchy. Oh, that's nice. And then you can tie it around. Okay, I'm going to wash this today so that I can sleep with it tonight. Oh, wait, I have more to show you. I already showed you the Ariana Grande perfume. Then I got this in from Filofax for the for my journal. So I can add that in there today. I ended up getting one of these because... I feel like the other ones that you like slide across, like sometimes they get really dull. I used to have one of those. And also those break so fast because I dropped it once and it broke. So, oh, it's only two year guarantee. I tried to make sure that everything I bought for this thing wasn't too expensive because I'm like such an impulsive buyer. And like a lot of times like I'll try something and I might not even actually end up using it much. So I try to make sure that if it's not something that I'm going to get my money worth, out of or i'm not like 100 sure if i'm gonna use it a lot i just make sure to get it for a good price so all this was pretty inexpensive i'm just quickly gonna sort out my laundry because i have a lot of laundry so let's do that Something to say to everybody who pay wear whatever I want. Dressed in a gown, everybody's like, Why are you going nowhere special? Just going to the store. I think I'd have it all. Tell you why I be more. Picking the plate, being the plate. She is unruly. Never seen her like this. Didn't think it existed, no, truly. Don't get in the way. She's not here to play. She'll get moved. Take this girl for being me Cause these are dream rules This is someone else I'm not myself, no, no mm -hmm. Cause these 
She could tell you the things you wanna hear She could read your mind and that she could believe Of a little lies to tell yourself a lie Never get it wrong, it's always right Making a play, being a play She is on a rule, she is on a rule Never seen it like this, didn't think it existed, no truth She's not here to play, she'll get moochy But don't mistake this girl for being me Cause these are dream rules This is someone else, I'm not myself, no, no mm -hmm. Cause these are dream rules This is someone else a good workout i feel like today the workout i had was literally the best one i've had in months like i don't know and i finally got comfortable getting on the machines which i just i mean i wanted to do that earlier this week but i was feeling kind of anxious to walk around and find the machines i wanted but it was nice and like quiet today so i had such a nice workout i'm just quickly gonna have some leftover meal prep food because i didn't buy groceries yesterday so and then i'm gonna go and take a shower and get ready i'm shooting content today at my studio i'm gonna shoot i have a brand deal with savage x but i'm gonna shoot that and edit that today and i'm also gonna do my podcast oh i actually need to find an outfit for that i'm gonna shoot my podcast um cover i think my podcast is gonna launch like two days after this goes live and i will make sure that there's links in the description for you to check it out 
because this is gonna be big and I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna go eat real quick and then we're gonna get ready for the day and I'll fill my makeup. I'm gonna do a quick makeup look. I'm not gonna talk through it because I'm a little behind on schedule, so I need to kind of rush a little bit. At the same time, he likes to chase, cause somehow it's safe. Never planning on actually staying. Yeah, you know he's just playing. That's his trick. Says them three times in a mirror. And watch your self-respect just disappear overnight. Overnight. Thinking me slick. Putting in just enough work to make you think he deserves some may your time. In my own mind. Even right in front of his eyes. He My lips are gonna hate me for that <laughs> but i just wanted to film that real quick i'm gonna bring the same lip combo i wore yesterday because i really love how that looked i'm gonna do my journal for this morning and then grab my stuff and leave and i'll see you guys at my studio so i just shot content for savage x fenty which i didn't film because it's lingerie and youtube is gonna demonetize me but i'm wearing one of the sweatsuits i also got i'm just gonna retransfer this to my manager hopefully they can approve it before the weekend i wanted to get it done really fast because i'm actually meant to post it on sunday i'm gonna do one feed post and i was thinking this denim look even though the denim doesn't match i'm still gonna try to make it work um i'm thinking white wall let's see how it goes i'm gonna put on some heels Loki freezing. Um, which ones do I want to wear? Probably these. Uh, these ones. I'm just gonna kind of rush this because I already spent time shooting and editing those stories. So now I just want to get this done. I'm trying to not actually walk on the heels because I feel like it's so loud. Whoever lives downstairs. Loki really self-conscious about the spots on my stomach. I don't know if you can see, but I have super light spots on my stomach. I've had this for years, and like in the summer, it kind of goes away. But now that I've lost my tan, like it's super visible. And sometimes I edit it out of photos, or I kind of blur it away. Like just being real with y'all, like I kind of I'm really self-conscious about it. Get close. <laughs> That's scary. I hope this is it and that I got it. If I did, then all I have to do is do my podcast cover and then I'm done. Hopefully I can do that one. I don't even know if I can shoot it myself, but I'm going to give it a try. Mm-hmm. I kind of got it. I got it now. Let's 
see if I can get my podcast cover shot. Ugh. Let me get changed and then we're just gonna give it a shot. I went with a blazer at Pathé's boots on because they kind of match the aesthetic. I think I want to keep this. Um, the light. This could be kind of cute. so much cuz I really care too much it's all just overwhelming I'm just overthinking I feel like I'm too much keep mistaking my anxiety for intuition and stress keeps getting in the way of my ambition logically I got a couple different angles and I'm just gonna have a look at them like tomorrow because sometimes when I've just taken photos like if I look at them right away I don't see myself the way that I actually look I know that might sound weird but it's very true um, a lot of times if I look back at it like a day later I just look at the photos differently so I'm honestly so tired oh, my mom I think is gonna come and then I'm gonna quickly go to the coffee shop and roll myself a fat ass J. <laughs> I filmed a few TikToks today, so I also posted some of those. I'm on a roll and I'm dead. <laughs> I took some time off vlogging yesterday. Let me take this off. Um, which was very necessary because honestly, I just needed some time to myself and I needed to just get some things done. I had a really nice slow self-care morning. I did a bunch of like decluttering. I finally organized my makeup. My brother um, surprised me kinda. He called my mom and he was like, I wanted to bring some Nigerian food for Lisa and show her how to make it and like help me make the pounded yam and stuff so he came over last night and he brought me food I literally have like a few days worth of food like some of it is in my freezer and then I also have some in my fridge he came over and we had a few hours together with my mom as well which was really nice and I really needed that like off camera like personal time i think that's like so important you know putting away your phone and especially for me like not working and like filming and creating content i did film him like making the food really quickly and then um when i like set it up for us to eat but i really wanted to just spend some time with him so that was really nice and i that was just like very much needed i'm getting ready right now because i'm gonna record my first podcast episode and i'm really excited it's basically going to be about spending Valentine's by myself because I'm planning on posting it on Valentine's Day. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about like my relationship histories, celibacy, all of that. It's going to be really fun. I'm so excited. So now that my makeup is organized, I want to like wear makeup more often. I'm going to try this. I don't know if this is going to stand on its own. Period. I can do my makeup like this. Now that I've like organized my makeup, it's kind of like I'm like shopping my own collection. Let me show you. So this is my makeup drawer. I basically just used one of my closet drawers. And over here I have my eyeshadow palettes, my face palettes, eye products, um, blushes, more blushes over here, lip products, just some like extras. 
behind here I have stuff that I don't use and probably I'm going to like give away to someone. Bronzers, highlighters, um, concealers, primers, foundation, setting sprays, setting powders, bronzers. These are cream bronzers, this powder bronzer. Um, and then behind there I have a couple of things. And that's kind of what my makeup is like right now. I definitely got rid of a lot because I just had way too much. But I'm pretty satisfied. And then I also did my hair drawer. But this one, well, it's kind of organized. But I feel like it could be better. But this is it right now. Slay. Hopefully these drawers survive. And then the rest of my room is also organized. Let me show you real quick. This is nice and organized. And then I did these drawers as well. first episode and I got into so much I don't even know if it's gonna be good like I feel like after some point I was kind of rambling and I had a hard time like getting my words out but I think I did well I don't know I recorded for about like 40 minutes which is pretty good <sighs> okay it feels good that I recorded this but even though I did it like it's still kind of like I don't know like I don't know if I did a good job yet like I think I'll just have to like listen back and see what I think but I also really hope I don't get in trouble because I'm like talking about my love life in this episode and like trying really hard not to spill anything but also like there's just so much to say now we'll just have to wait and see how it does oh god I'm just gonna put this on real quick because it's freezing all of a sudden also like talking about like my love life and all those things kind of like brought back these memories and i'm a little traumatized like it's a little triggering but we're not gonna think about it <laughs> fuck these men I feel like I ate too much pounded GM yesterday because, bitch, my stomach hurts so bad. I've already taken like three shits today. Like, sorry if that's TMI, but I literally shit like three times today and I have such bad cramps. Like, I feel like I'm gonna explode. <laughs> it's probably because I never eat it anymore. So my body isn't used to like digesting it because it's basically like a lot of like, I guess like kind of dough in your stomach and i ate so much of it because i even had like a second like when my brother left i heated up more food because it was just so good like that's like the type of food i can just continue eating even if i'm full so i kind of like overstuffed myself last night and my stomach just hurts so bad i just edited the podcast episode even though that was not my plan but since i don't have the branding done i'm not really sure if i'm gonna add like an intro clip yet or anything so i'm gonna leave it but watch me edit here Yo 
know is you got it You know that you got it Baby, take the moment you got it